just going to do a video on what I installed on my Apprentice S. I've got uh, uh, DX5V with telemetry. Now I seen this and I bought it. I think I got about $55 into it and I couldn't buy a telemetry radio. Uh, DX6I here in Canada is probably over 250 or something like that. So I seen that and I thought well there's nothing worse. Every time you go out with somebody who forgets the stopwatch or Next thing you know, you're dead stick and coming in because you went too far. So I just want this because of the alarms, and I can monitor my pack voltage when I can go flying by myself. So anyways, so what I've done is I took the module, or the transmitter, is a big, long, narrow piece. It's about that wide and about this long. And I slid it right down the hole here for the, there's a hole that goes down into the battery bay. And it fit right in there, and I two-sided taped it and put the antenna back here. And I also got the, the current sensor. And I put the current sensor right here where the old uh, speed control went. And I used the same bracket to put the speed control on. I moved my uh, ESC up there, which is a 45-amp S-Spec. I think it's a 4-amp S-Spec or a 3-amp S-Spec. But... Uh, I've got it going on like that. Now I've got all my screens up here, my amp draw, my battery voltage, individual 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 voltage, and of course my battery temperature, which I think I'm going to move that temperature sensor up to the ESC. I I imagine it'd be more important. I don't know. You can comment on it, but uh, the sensor, the transmitter goes down through into the battery bay. And all it does is it hooks up right here. I'll take it off. You can see the sensor there, or the transmitter. It comes right down through, and it's long and narrow. You need to just put your balance plug on there to read all your, your voltages. Now, by moving all this stuff and changing it around, and moving my, uh, well, it is, it is a heavy speed control, but by moving everything around, I had to go back here and add a half an ounce of weight right back here to get this plane to balance. Now there's only one thing, I haven't flown this yet, the weather's bad, it's blowing and raining and cold and so I'm not sure whether this antenna is going to affect the frequency or the range of my uh, receiver. I've got the antenna at 90 degrees, one wire goes along the side and comes out here and the other one there so I'm going to find out, but if you have any comments or have comments about it or have done this before, just uh, leave me a comment and uh, it would sure be helpful because I really don't want to crash this plane. I've probably got about 30 plates on it maybe, and as you can see it's still in real good condition. And I've had some pretty hard landings and I'm by far a beginner. So I've ripped the tail feathers off it. But other than that, if it wasn't for the Apprentice S, I probably wouldn't be into flying planes. I did um, RC race for 20 years in uh, one-tenth pan car oval on carpet. And it got way too expensive, and everybody died off, and next thing you know, there's nobody to race with. So I sold everything and got this, and if it wasn't for this, I probably wouldn't be into flying, so... Maybe I'll be into RC flying for 20 years like I was into the pan cars. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.